everyone, I have so many things going on right now, hence the massive delay in a video. I'll be going through a few topics, so please bear with me. I'll be talking about tuning into my body and listening to hunger cues, dealing with stress and fatigue, gender expression and body dysmorphia, and of course, getting my bench PR. Alright, so first up, let's talk about not weighing myself. I know it sounds wild, especially in a world where everyone's obsessed with numbers on the scale, especially when you're kind of getting into weightlifting and you want to see your progress. Um, so honestly, I found it much more freeing to just go off of how I feel lately uh, and not be tied down to the sort of 0.5 kilogram increase, 0.5 kilogram drop in here and there. It's kind of like, you know, how do I look uh, without clothes on, you know, judging I guess how much water weight I have or if I am actually looking more lean or if I'm getting more fluffy, just kind of vibing off of that really. Uh, those are the things that really matter. Whether or not I look like I've gained a little weight here and there doesn't stress me out as much anymore because I know that it, it takes maybe a week to just undo whatever I've done or redo whatever I've undone. Um, so it's it's honestly no big deal and I think it just feels so good to not stress about things like that anymore. So instead I'm just listening to my body signals, listening to my hungry cues. There are days where I'm massively hungry, there are days where I just don't want to eat. So obviously I can't just not eat. Um, my muscles will deteriorate so I have to make sure at least I'm getting the protein hit and at minimum it's like 90, kil uh, 90 kilograms, 90 grams uh, of protein a day at minimum. Sometimes it's lower but I just make up for it the next day, make sure it's not low for you know more than two days in a row. It does sound simple you know like kind of eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm full but it's a pretty big shift for me especially when you're used to following a sort of strict diet um, or obsessing over every calorie but I am getting better at that and um, letting go of that and just listening to my body is such a game changer. Next I want to talk about something that's been hitting me hard uh, and that's fatigue. I'm not talking about the usual I didn't get enough sleep but that is another problem. Uh, my circadian rhythm is messed up. I'm talking about like stress, possible ADHD related fatigue and that brain fog that just kind of won't go away. It just feels like my entire forehead. Uh, it feels like I'm underwater. It's it's a weird feeling. I think only if you know what that feels like. Um, a full sort of sinus pressure, head fog, drain. Unless you know how that feels, you know what I'm talking about, if you relate, you won't know what that feels like, but it's awful. And you just you kind of don't want to do anything, a anything normal, like just just cooking something or like getting up to do one task in the house it just feels too much it's insane so i'm you know it's really been tough it's made my daily life feel like i'm running on empty and it's been like that for years but it's kind of getting worse hence why i haven't really um made a video in in this amount of time it's it's unusual for me uh, i've just been prioritizing my mental health i guess and dealing with this fatigue so you know talk about the stress you know the brain fog won't go away and also the hay fever so summertime is not a good time for me anymore and it hasn't been for about three to four years since i've gotten older like late 20s or so it just hit me like a ton of bricks and it's just getting worse to be honest so yeah, I'm finally taking steps to figure out what's going on. I've reached out to a psychiatrist to look into a diagnosis, get some treatment options. Just need to see how much that costs first. Because <laughs> seriously, like pushing through this kind of fatigue every day isn't sustainable. And if you guys are dealing with similar issues, I encourage you to try and get help too. So now I want to switch gears and talk about the gym because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm at the gym all the time. Lately, I've been hitting the gym more frequently, but I've been keeping my workouts a bit shorter. Um, and it's kind of like a game changer. I've, I've made it work for me because I get so fatigued. I'm generally so fatigued every day. So I thought shorter workouts, more frequent would work better for me. Um, so instead of like, dragging it out to one and a half hours, I figured like 
this this kind of 30 minute to 45 minute sweet spot is is really intense but really purposeful and I still get the same like fatigue and what I need done in that time unless it's legs if it's legs it's going to be one hour so I have been focusing on quality over quantity getting it getting it in uh, hitting my main lifts doing all this sort of solid accessory work and then calling it a day it's kept me consistent and motivated which is really the key to to making progress plus it leaves me more time and energy for other things and you know doing the mundane tasks that as i as i said earlier just takes takes a lot out of me so if you are struggling to stay consistent with long workouts maybe try some shorter sessions and just see how see how that goes for you now I want to talk about the highlight of this video, which is celebrating my bench PR of 50 kilograms. Um, I can't even explain how excited this makes me feel, and I've been excited since my first lift, um, which I can't remember when that was now, but maybe it's been three weeks ago. Could be even longer than that. But it took me about one full year just trying, and I was stuck on 48. 0.5 kilograms or something like that and 47 and a half I just couldn't get there but what really helped me get there was something I picked up from a channel I think it's Nolan Glaze if you haven't checked them out um, it's it's entertaining it's I don't take it seriously because um, no offense like these guys need guidance <laughs> however that being said um, one of them is that in their early teens and actually I took his advice, which is insane. He's like a baby to me in terms of like my age. <laughs> so I took advice from a baby um, and it was a complete game changer. He talked about doing partial reps uh, for chest and it really helped me push past my plateau and it helped him achieve um, higher, like bigger weight basically. So I was like, what's, what's the, you know, what's the harm? Let me just try it out. So I tried it out and I started incorporating partial reps and that's what got, I feel like that's what got me the 50 kilogram um, bench. So I owe it to him. <laughs> I will put uh, their channel on screen. So yeah, it's a reminder that good advice can come from anywhere. For me, Samsung is that motivation every now and then. I have been tuning in just to listen to him. I listen to the first five minutes and the last five minutes and when he poses, because that's when he like talks. Otherwise, it's just him going, Ugh, like just grunting. Sounds a bit strange. Lastly, I want to get a bit personal for a moment and talk about something that's been on my mind a lot, and that's gender expression and how bodybuilding is played into that. So in real life, I don't get that many comments. I get comments here and there, but it's mostly, I'd say online, things like, oh, you look like a man or whatever. Um, and being a girl in a game, you kind of get some weird attention. Most of it is bad attention. And I would say it's like guys trying to, I don't know, um, just like one up themselves, just be really sexist and things like that. or bully me in some kind of form so I've kind of my defense is pretending that I am a guy <laughs> and anything they say about me makes them um makes them flamboyant shall we say don't want to offend anyone here and that usually puts them off it either really puts them off and makes them really homophobic or they kind of laugh at laugh at it and then they apologize later to me so where was i with that i've had people say i look too muscular i'm, I'm like a man or whatever you know even my mom said i look a bit crazy now uh and that i've put on more muscle so yeah it's it's been it's been interesting i guess uh how people have interpreted me over time before this i was just labeled as thin and that was kind of like a personality trait of mine uh if you could say that so growing up, I often felt like I looked more like a boy than what people expected from a girl. And honestly, bodybuilding has helped me embrace who I am, um, you know, feel strong. And at times, at times, it's it has made me a bit confused. On one hand, it's empowering to feel strong and see my body change in ways that I love. But on the other hand, it sometimes throws me into that space of wondering, how do I fit in, you know? 
And it's taken me a while to realize that I don't have to fit in any specific box. I can I can be more feminine one day and ha wear clothes that generally more women would wear, you know, short shorts, uh, gym bra. But there have been times where I am just rocking like this, like a man necklace, <laughs> man necklace. Um, a necklace that I bought in the men's section, shall we say. Uh, I'm wearing baggy, baggy pants. I'm wearing a huge t-shirt. You know, one of those oversized fits, even it's a men's shirt as well. So yeah, it just kind of depends how I feel, right? And I don't have to conform to anyone's expectations of, you know, what a woman should look like or act like. My journey is my own, and that includes how I choose to express my gender, whether I'm feeling more feminine one day or leaning more, in, uh, leaning more into an androgynous look another day. It's it's all valid. And so, at the end of the day, I've learned that the most important thing is being true to myself, whatever that looks like, because that's what being authentic means. <laughs> But uh, I never, I never really think, oh, I'm just gonna be my authentic self. I just, I just do what I feel like on the day. Bodybuilding has been a part of that journey, and while it may confuse some people, it's made me feel more confident um, and more me than ever before.